Hello YouTube, this is DVD Review Studios here, and today I shall be doing a review on the complete first season of King of the Hill on DVD. Uh, which in this review we shall be going over the packaging for the DVD set, as well as discussing each individual episode featured on this first season box set. Uh, so King of the Hill is a show that I have pretty much always been aware of. It's a show that came out back in 1997 and is created by Mike Judge, who obviously created Beavers and Butthead, and then went on to create movies such as Office Space, which is one of my all-time favorite comedy movies. And King of the Hill is just a show that I never really got into, so this series is still relatively quite new to me. But with this first season, overall I found this show to be very easy to get into, and I personally found it to be more or less mainly revolving around Hank's friends, the characters of Dale, Boomhauer, and Bill. Those characters, and Hank of course, have quite a unique chemistry that makes this show not so much of a piggyback off of shows such as The Simpsons, um, which you can find with other TV series such as Family Guy, which of course is a straight piggyback off that kind of formula. Um, but even though this does obviously retain the family-style sitcom for an animated show, overall I found this to be quite unique in its own adventures and very sparing in terms of how much the episodes really are very unique in their methods of both storytelling and characterization. And that's something I've really quite enjoyed and found, of course, very easy to get into um, when it came to watching this show really for the first time. So this first season, it's 13 episodes in total spread across three DVD discs, and there's a brief selection there of the special features included, really the main ones, so we have 50 deleted scenes, which is quite a hefty amount, um, select audio commentaries here and there, animatics, behind the scenes stuff, you get the idea. And uh, this is just a slip box design. The DVD set is rated a 12 here in the UK for moderate violence and sex references. And your runtime is 277 minutes there in total. And so here is the inside of the DVD set where we have the episode guide. And there's your three discs with episodes 1 through to 5 on disc 1, 6 through to 9 on disc 2, and of course 10 through to 13 there on disc 3. And so going through the episode guide, we have, like I said, 13 episodes here in total. Uh, the first episode, of course, being the pilot episode, which, to be honest, as far as a pilot is concerned, this was definitely not what I was expecting for the first ever episode of the series. Um, it was actually quite a nice surprise in a way, because it really allowed me to get a grip of the formula of the show's writing style, and it's a very witty style at that, and something that I, of course, caught on to very quickly. Um, yeah, as far as a pilot episode goes, it's basically, it basically revolves around a misunderstanding as it would be where Bobby ends up with a black eye at a baseball game and Hank is picked up on by a social worker who suspects him of child abuse, which is obviously a huge misunderstanding taken way out of proportion. But the writing, like I said, was very well done and the character of the social worker strangely reminds me of David Herman's character from Office Space and I'm 90% sure that he did portray the character, I'll have to look that up afterwards. Um, next up is Square Peg, where Peggy, who is a substitute teacher, is actually made to teach a sex ed class, which obviously, with Hank being quite the prude as it would be, is hilariously awkward in the household, and opens up a lot of the writing to many euphemisms, which I thought was very well done. Next up is The Order of the Stray Tarot, which is your stereotypical coming-of-age style episode story. Um, overall, it was actually very good. It was quite a heartwarming episode where Bobby thinks he's accidentally killed an endangered species of bird, and it turns out in the end he did not, and it was actually just quite a sort of revelation of a moment at the very end. And uh, overall, it was very enjoyable as far as an episode goes. Next up is Luan's Saga, where Luan is essentially between boyfriends as that kind of stereotyped character, and Hank takes it upon himself to try and find her a suitable new man, which obviously goes horribly wrong. And last up for disc one is Hank's Got the Willies, where Hank tries to teach Bobby golf, only to accidentally have Bobby hit Hank's idol Willie Nelson in the head with a golf ball. Um, that episode overall was kind of trippy in some instances. I quite like the intro where Hank is fantasizing about and sort of jamming with Willie Nelson. Um, but yeah, overall quite an enjoyable episode and has some very humorous moments. Next up is Westy Side Story, where a Laotian family called the Khans move in next door to the hills. 
and this was probably my favourite, if not at least one of my favourite episodes on this box set, where the Khans, who are the neighbours that move in next door, are suspected of serving dog meat, which only goes even worse when Hank is trying to investigate this and suddenly realises that Ladybird, their dog, has actually disappeared. And the context and out-of-context moments throughout this episode are just some of the funniest written moments um, that I've experienced with this show thus far, and I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Next up is Hank's unmentionable problem, where he is struggling to go number two, as it would be, which suddenly makes its way around town as talk of the town, which was just hilarious to witness Hank's reaction to that kind of problem. Next up is Shins of the Father, which introduces us to Hank's very sexist and very, very stereotypical redneck style father, Cotton. And basically he's just a bad influence on the family as a whole, in particular on Bobby, uh, which is where the overall episode revolves around whether or not he should actually stay with the family because of his influence. And last up for disc 2 is Peggy the Boggle Champ, which I overall very much enjoyed. It definitely fleshed out Peggy's character that little bit more. And this episode is quite interesting, where Peggy enters into the state championship for Boggle players, and Hank must choose between his loving wife and supporting her talent, or going to a lawnmower expo, which obviously you can see the complications with that conundrum. And for disc 3 we have Keeping Up With Our Joneses, where Bobby is caught smoking by Hank, and so Hank does the fatherly thing of making Bobby get sick of smoking by smoking a full carton of cigarettes. Next up is Plastic White Female, which was a very strange episode as Bobby basically attempts and tries the boyfriend-girlfriend kind of stuff on a plastic mannequin head. Definitely some Buffalo Bill vibes from that episode. Next up is The Company Man, which fleshes out the character of Hank that little bit more, uh, which Hank is a salesman of propane and propane accessories, as he often terms. I sell propane and propane accessories. And in this episode, it shows him trying to get a very difficult client to come into the Strickland propane business, and it shows Hank trying not to go against his own morals, as in he doesn't want to go against his normal sales routine and techniques, but in order to try and secure this client, he may just have to. So it's quite interesting to watch him battle that one out internally. And the last episode on the season is King of the Ant Hill, which fleshes out the character of Dale, who is probably my favorite character actually in the show overall, at least at the moment anyway. And it's quite hilarious to see what lengths he will go to to spray Hank's house. He's a, a basically a bug exterminator. And after getting fired from spraying Hank's house, he starts planting bugs as basically a reason just to come back and actually do his job properly. And it's quite funny to see how horribly wrong that goes, as I'm sure you can already imagine. So that's going to do it for my review of King of the Hill Season 1 on DVD. I really do hope you did enjoy. As far as the first season goes, this is a very strong first season and was overall quite a lot more varied than I really anticipated in terms of the episode contents. Uh, so I really did enjoy this and it's definitely spurred me onto a King of the Hill binge and I've always been a huge fan of Mike Judge and his comedy style and his comedy characters so it's great to really see a lot of his development and input in this series and I'm overall very much enjoying it. Uh, so if you enjoyed this review be sure to leave a like down below, let me know what you think of the show of King of the Hill, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comments and please do subscribe for more upcoming videos coming soon. Are you threatening me?